So if you were going to film, a, you know, a Dawson's Creek TV series, um, you'd get this background, um, and you'd, um, you'd slowly move the camera around here, where you were talking about teenage angst and heartbreak, and mostly you'd be doing it for the background. And there is our little shuttle, our sea link to Bruni Island, which is the home of the fairy penguin. And uh, well, I'll get on that note, I guess I should do a little bit of hoop hoop to uh, Love and Penguins. Just got released a second ago. Anyway, um, here we are, first morning of our seven day Tassie jaunt. And um, we start on Bruni. For those of you that know the island, you're like, yeah, tick your boxes, do your tourist trap. But no, I have an authentic Tasmanian guide. And uh, there she is. <laughs> Say camera shy. A couple of peacocks. Um, all right, good morning, everyone. Let's go bruning. Breaking rule number one rolling camera before finish chewing. But as this movie magic, bang, we're on the ferry. And look who's sculpted behind us. <laughs> That's pretty for good morning. <laughs> I'm doing a bit of backward walking here so you can see our vessel in the distance. Hello, Baba. Hi, Baba. <laughs> um, Bruno Island. Uh, three. Rough and rugged. R rough and rugged. It's three. Sorry? Like it's like me. Three hour boat ride um, through these hammering seas. The rain has just started coming down. He's giving us a debrief that we're late for. Um, and out here you get uh, whales, you get great white pointers. Three hours of hammering around these ancient coastlines. And uh, I'll bring you back for the uh, special footage. <laughs> if I see any monster dorsal fins, you guys will be sharing it with us. Okay, fingertips are tazzy cold. Rains are on. That's our vessel. Good thing we had coffee about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> see you there. Whoa, 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 whoa. The what? Vikings. Yes, we're doing a tough just like Vikings with our warm tea and our muffins. <laughs> just for the sake of uh, comedy, I thought I should do one of us pre-departure and get a little bit of footage of us in three hours. <laughs> colour of the tongue? Uh... All right, colour of the eyes? Or of the general attitude? <laughs> yeah, let's see what happens in three hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm holding this, I'm holding this pretty tightly because... <laughs> 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 And that's how Tassie does it. Closest thing I've had to a shower in a week.
Good morning, everybody. This... Good morning. <laughs> this is what are you drinking? I'm on the mulled wines for breakfast. <laughs> what time Full is it? Fortified grapes, rich in goodness and antioxidants. That aroma is mm. fortification and process, <sighs> but it is steaming. Oof. It is mulled. Mm, yummy. It's like this, a warm sangria. This is the view. And we are, in fact, having um, mm. morning sangrias. Mm. And what's the name of the venue, please? Uh, the Whiskey House. Whiskey. Whiskey something house of Bruny Island. Let's in future, we shall research this stuff. <laughs> the uh, House of Whiskey. House of Whiskey, fact, that's it. what it's called. Mm. And it's a beautiful little country road just here. Um, mm. They do wake up with the AM crowd. You're looking at her. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there is a sangria esque aroma. Mm. And it is picture perfect. Just picture perfect. Um, we shall bring you back to the um, 11 a.m. hangovers. <laughs> See you. Holy hell, it's cold! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ramblers, don't say we don't do everything we can for you. But here we are in the um, brutally exquisite, good old girl, um, Cloudy Bay. Um, and uh, Lady Erin, do you want to jump in a frame and tell us your history with this place? history of this place. What are your history with this place? I've been here for 23 years. And she's 25. <laughs> but look at this guys. I've been here since I was a teenager and it's just stunning. There's your, um, there's your, there's your surf tower up there. Um, so we're all said and done, kind of on your own. Um, yeah, I love this. Is, this, is, this is pretty smack bang, great white water, you know. It's got a mood to it. Where are you baby girl? Where are you? <laughs> All right, I'm actually contemplating. Getting in the water. Just going for a tiny little body bash in there. Um, but look at this, look at this. Yeah. Tazzy the spectacular. Wow. Okay, let's get um, let's get the business. It's, it's, it's storm boy cries. Just there's the seagulls and the silence. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens next. Here he goes into the Arctic, an Arctic plunge. I don't know how he's doing this. This is the coldest Tasmanian water from down south. Look at him go. Yeah, baby! Woo! Yeehoo! Yes, he did it! Absolute fucking iconic legend there. Yeah! Do a slow Baywatch run. There we go. He, is, he walked in a half man and he's came out a full woman. woman. Lucky me. Lucky I love both. Just want to say because it's a little bit exciting. Hello. Hello. We're heading up to the cradle and the snow is now falling. So, so beautiful. You can't really see it, but maybe you can feel it. <laughs> Let's drive. <laughs> so I'm going to give a bit of a loose report here. Um, we're about two hours more climbing up into the cradle and the snow has come down hard and fast. Um, we're sitting on the thing about 30 k's, being really modest. Um, the wheel's doing a bit of spinning. I'll show you the um, roads out here. Look at this. The occasional car, but mostly just um, but mostly just mostly just silence. Wait till that car goes.
um, plenty of chocolate cake and vodka and tobacco. So um, <laughs> long hard winter, locked down. Honestly, <laughs> all right, there it goes. So just pulling over again, cause um, cause beauty, you know, cause you pull over for beauty and coldness. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's now coming down. We've got about an hour and a half, um, easily an hour and a half to go until we get into the cradle. Um, and it is now just bucketing down on the roads. Done. We're on little, 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 little sweet little pancakes right here. With zero grip. Um, completely, um, you know, prepared for nothing. Uh, no snow tires, no chains. Um, but my God, do we have cameras for videos? Um, and uh, silent beauty. Erin's um, now going through the luggage to find the organic tobacco and the port because um, we've got nothing to do but to crawl at about 20 k's an hour for this. <laughs> so one and a half hours is going to be about three hours. So she's going to sit there getting pickled on port and second back some organics because you know that's what you do, make the most of. That's it. Alright, let's go get stuck. Um, I just thought I'd give you an update. Actually, I've got to keep a bit of pace up here to keep moving. In fact, I'll come back to you. Lord, I have to say to them, sorry, we can't get up. All right, I don't want to get cockier ahead of myself because, you know. Um, That's what he does. <laughs> um, Great support from the missus. Perpetual. Yeah. <laughs> um, but right, right when we were like at the at the peak. Um, some old timer pulled up next to us and said, Oh, if you can get over this hump on the way down, this should be the worst. And I'm like, Oh, so it's an altitude thing. I thought it would have been, what do I know? Um, um, so um, maybe he was like, Let's turn around and go to the pub house because he likes the idea better. So I managed to pull a two pointer, um, started driving up and maybe like 20 meters. And the wheels were just spinning, and it's like, yeah, you're not going up there, it's the top of the mountain. Um, so we had to reverse back and um, then do another three point turn around um, and just humble ourselves. But, like, you're not, you're not going anywhere near where you think you're going. Anyway, um, but yes, we're back on gravel, uh, wet, soaking wet, frosty gravel, the snow's still falling. Um, but we're, uh, we might be in the clear, so let's just, anyway, let's pull our heads in a bit, do the job and see. All right. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd like to run through um our um carefully cultivated mountaineering outfit. What you, what's in your feet, got me bloodies on. Mm. Got the um, water absorbent bloodies on. <laughs> and um, and um, some, just some active, active wear pants that have no thermal protection at all, no waterproof. Uh, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we just went through the uh, basic survival checklist on the wall and... Um, no gloves. No gloves. <laughs> but, 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 we do have this. We do oh, have this. Well. And I do have that. <laughs> a little snow bunny. Keep my mind safe. <laughs> okay, um, so we're heading that way. We're going to do, in the event that this um, this recording is the only thing found um, by uh, from us, we're going to Dove. Just there. <sighs> we're going to pin to the right, go up to Lilla Pool, Lilla Track. To a wombat pool, um, but I'll just say again, as Erin knows, <laughs> um, bloody cold, mm. distress. Ah! Morning, everybody. Ah! We made it. We're up at the cradle. Hey, Ramblers. This is the um, Andy video. We just to say one of the primary reasons you go hiking, I imagine, is to get to places where if you're not talking. And it's just the sound of your breathing. And you try to tuck that feeling of memory away. It's when you're back at home in your double loaders meditation position. You've got to release that silence again. Yes, 
bit of frosty wind both in our direction. How are you feeling? Good, I'm so much warmer now. The mid lampstands have done really all right. Weather. Our um, weather right. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. Let us proceed. <clears throat> there's, a little, there's a little fella up here in the tree. The guy. He's flying with us the whole way. Oh, that'll get him over my shoulder. Let's see if he has a swoop. Mm. Come with us. He's not coming now. Yeah. Is she there? <laughs> I was just filming the uh, the crow. Okay. See, there or not, he's going to do a, a sweep on the speed camera. But no, that'll be a warm bit pool. And that's the uh, frosty front we're just now looking into. The rains have begun, the rain bands are fogged up. We're about to, just about to walk into a weather front. See if there's any snow coming our way. <coughs> Stay tuned, as it were. We're going to do a talking photograph because, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, we're doing the responsible thing now. Returned for the uh, hiking log, but I think. We're out. They keep playing on the mountain. See you by the fire. Well, in perfect country style, um, we rolled off the mountain through billows of mist, perfect country weather. The first um, mark on the map is Wilmot, so I thought I'd pull over and throw a few coins into the Historical Society, but no one's home. <laughs> We've got, uh, looks like the fuel station's closed. Oh, the country store's open. Um, that's there in the car. This is our perfect, what would you call it? It's like a cheese or coffee ad. Just beautiful. Anyway, just showing you what's cooking. Well, what's the frosting? All right, having just rambled to the locals, this literally is the post office, the Bowser. This literally is Wilmot. How awesome is that? It's one joint and a museum that they don't usually open because no one goes in there <laughs> all right well might let's move on so good however up the mountain from Wilmot is the great Wilmot distillery which is closed hang on okay so we pulled up the day he said he doesn't um, do tastings and then um, Aaron reminded him that she'd been here before. He's like, well then, let's open the door. So the cellar doors have just been opened. And look at this magnificent. And if you don't like it, we're going to put some ginger beer with it. Oh, yeah. He's actually, it's just me drinking. He's sober. He's a good boy. So he just watches me drink. <laughs> yeah. so, so it's you too. <laughs> I don't drink, I'm not a drinker. Oh, he's not a drinker either. That's right. I remember wow. I taste, but I'm not a drinker. Not a drinker. Uh, we shall return in a moment. Now, while they're um, rolling their dice over there, I just need to tell you one of the more extraordinary things about Wilmot the Distillery is that this couple right here. Um, at, at what age is Joe? Uh, I think he was 87 and she was 79. Right, when so I bought the place, he was 85. Yeah. They did it two years after I bought the place. Yeah. So two years ago, you this couple. Um, elected to travel to Switzerland um, where euthanasia is legal and um, ended their lives. Um, prior to that, they sold the uh, distillery to Joe 
Um, but you just don't hear those stories all the time. So just, there you go. Now, let's... Um, then he just started stuffing. It's a very dry spark. <laughs> what a beautiful, fun little world. Um, Joe, did you, um, did you have some sort of degree or a history in distilling? No. I'm an engineer by profession. Oh, so I'm an electrical mechanical engineer. There is a thing about Tasmania, can I say, where the people we've met that are in distilling have previously had no history with distilling. There's nothing to it. You know, the, the, There's your answer. The, all the distillers like to think it's a craft and all the rest. Joe, you'll walk me through the ingredients of the um, these okay, two. So the, uh, what was that sentence, please? Oh the the colouring yeah. is on the green one, lemon balm, lemon verbena, okay. hyssop, and wormwood. So they're three separate and ingredients. Four. Right. Wow. Okay. That's just the colouring. That's just the colouring. You vacuum the still a half a litre of ethanol every time with each botanical. The the red is blackberries, laurel berries, blueberries, and wild hibiscus. Oh, that's so good. Listen to Aaron, by the way, just in the background. Oh, literally the um, climaxing with every third swallow. <laughs> that, um, that Joe is how you might remember her. So, Aaron, in order to sustain your immediate happiness, what is it that you require right now? For you to shave, for 